are here with Popsicle Pam from AZ Pops. I have actually been going to her store in Central Phoenix for years. I had no years. idea she was going to be here today. I'm obsessed with her popsicles. They're not like anything you would ever find in a store. Tell me about them. So we are local popsicles. We make artisan popsicles. We've been around for about a dozen years, and we do not use any artificial colors, flavors, fillers, or sweeteners. We have an awesome product, and we have an enormous array of flavors. We accommodate tons of people with no sugars, fruit only, non-dairy, gluten-free, and we have a great product. You would not believe some of these flavors. Pam's gonna show us a few Popsicle Pam here. You ready? What have you brought for us today? Come on over to my cute little cart that we do rent and take out to different places in town. Oh, so that's gorgeous. This one today is Blue Hawaiian. It's a tropical flavor, passion fruit, pineapple, and um, soursop. The bottom part is a prickly pear lime, and actually we juice our own prickly pear, local. So the prickly pear and the lemon you use, you use a lot of it, and a lot of it's local. We do. We juice about 300 pounds of, of prickly pear a year, and it's a lot. Can we see another popsicle? Absolutely. And while you get that out, I just want to mention, you can rent this cart, and that's a fun thing to do for a birthday party, a graduation party, an employee appreciation party. Exactly. We do a lot of those. This one today actually is a popular one of our older ones. This is a lavender berry lemonade. So it has ras um, raspberries and blackberries inside. It's an organic lavender lemonade, and it has a prickly pear lime cap. That is but just so that bottom gorgeous. part. It's, Isn't it's that like pretty? Art. It's like art on a stick. Pam. And it's so fun eating yummy things. And by the way, if you do want to do an employee appreciation, Brian, our boss, you rent the cart. Somebody from AZ Pops comes out to, to distribute the popsicles, and it's a great thing. Yep, we can do that, too. We also have lots of reps, and we do a lot of promo packages for businesses where they give gifts to, like, the people, their clients, that they come well, and pick cute. them up, or we can deliver them. And we have them prepped and ready for you to go so you don't have to wait. There's something you might not know. Um, the, the name of the game here in Phoenix, parenting in summer, you're killing time. That's why... I drive my family from Arcadia to see Pam at AZ Pops, and she's so great with kids. She's a mom herself, and she does like a whole show with the dry ice. We do do a lot of different toys with the dry ice. We're fun. But the best part is you're feeding your kid healthy food. This one happens to be a pomegranate lemon popsicle, oh. local pomegranates. And the thing is, is when you feed your kids good food, they grow up eating good food. Now, can you talk to me about the new CBD popsicles for we mom? We do do CBD popsicles. They're 25 milligrams. We use a really high quality CBD, and we have different flavors that are in the store. And do not worry, they are a different shape, different size, so they cannot be mixed up with the regular popsicles. <laughs> Oops, I didn't. I gave Junior the CBD pop. Whoops. Now you'll have an easy day. Tell me about some of your really, really unusual flavor combinations. Um, well, we actually do different things. We use a lot of uh, different, not just fruit. We do use a lot of fruit. But we also use Madagascar vanilla bean. This one actually looks pretty simple, but it's amazing, and it's a really complex flavor. It is pineapple with Madagascar vanilla bean, which is a really high-quality vanilla bean. We actually will be using a lot of local fresh figs coming up. We do a balsamic fig um, goat cheese Hold popsicle. On. Oop, I you want to try that I one too? To, there you go. Double fisted. Oh my gosh. That is so delicious. But for people who have more basic uh, palates and things that kind of so we can accommodate everyone, we do strawberry, watermelon. You can see we use lots of fresh fruit. We use different types of melons. Melons are great right now. We blend them. We mix different melons together. Mangoes, bananas, strawberries, blueberries. You name it, we do a lot of berries this time of year. Berries are awesome. That's one of the most healthy foods that you can eat. Antioxidants, fiber. You know what one of the best things about our popsicles is? Is you feel good after you eat them and you enjoy them. I'm feeling good during eating them. I'm going to feel good after. I felt good before because I knew I was going to see Pam. <laughs> and this is your, your process. This is how you make well, them. Well, part of the thing about popsicles is I do make awesome popsicles. Yes. They're the best in Arizona. Easy. They're clean. There's no artificial colors, flavors, fillers, or sweeteners. And you feel really good when you're done eating them. But you can make them at home too. And I actually just brought my molds so people can see that you can buy actually the inexpensive molds just at the 99 cent store if you want. And you can make your own popsicles. Fruit is awesome right now. You can use, um, you can use mangoes, you can use strawberries, you can use peaches. I ran out of hands. We might oh, need one here we go. <laughs> this is a one. mango sunset, really popular one. This is mango. It's mostly a mango popsicle blended, and then it has a little bit of a strawberry infusion. Super oh, popular, super cooling, super satisfying, and it's clean. 
There is nothing in there that doesn't, that's not good for you. And it's satisfy, satisfying. Easy for you to say. By the way, yeah. it's going to be 118 this weekend. So if you're looking for something to do with the kids, if you're looking for a way to cool down, AZ Pops 7th Street. We're at 5050 North 7th Street. We're just north of Camelback on 7th Street. And you can see these huge popsicles in the front of our store with a cart to catch your eye. And just so you know, you can package, we can package them for you to go. We do sell our own ice chests and insulated bags, but bring in your own. You don't need to use ours. And you and might be thinking, how am I gonna get popsicles home when it's 118? She packs them up with dry ice. We're really good at packing popsicles in this heat. They know what they're doing. And by the way, I don't want to disparage regular grocery store popsicles, but there's a lot of nasty food coloring in there. Ours are the best. Theirs are the best. AZ Pops. 